as I'm coming up on my two year anniversary doing YouTube, I just wanted to share this information and this knowledge because YouTube has changed my life in a very profound way. It has made me a lot more financially stable and just financially in a good place. A lot of people think that they need like a huge following or they need to be like a Jake Paul or Mr. Beast or something to really make money, but it's not true. I became a full-time YouTuber, meaning making a full-time income on YouTube when I was just at 5,000 subscribers. Maybe that's a lot of uh, subscribers for some of you guys, but really in the YouTube world, it's not that much. For those of you who are looking for a side hustle or just something to bring in some extra money or maybe even to transition from the job that you currently have, I personally think that YouTube is a great way and so I wanted to share how you guys could make a hundred dollars a day doing YouTube. If you're new here, I'm Energy. If you're an Energizer, welcome back and welcome to another episode of Financial Fridays. If you guys clicked on this video but you're like, I'm not sure whether or not YouTube is for me, I kind of want some other ideas. On my finance channel, Rich Girl Energy, I made a video telling you the five side hustles that you can start this month. So I'll link that channel down below. You can watch it after this video. But in this video, I wanted to teach you the formula that I use and that I help my clients use because I also do YouTube consultations to actually monetize their YouTube channel even with a small following. Now, how can we do this? Well, I go off of a value-based system. This is if I'm trying to earn money. This is not for like entertainment content. It's more for educational content, okay? I go off of a value-based system. What does that mean? Well, I heard a quote that says, help a million people make a million dollars. And that's from Eric Thomas. What that means is that if you help people get what they want, you can essentially get what you want. The best way to create value is to create a channel that is centered around helping solve a problem. Now, this could be anything really. When I first started, I was just very interested in hair care. And I know that for me, it was a problem to take care of my hair. I didn't know how to do it. And I didn't know how to do it using all natural products, which I was doing. I would make it from plants and herbs and foods and stuff like this. So I made my channel and I said, you know what, I'm gonna help people share with them what I use to help solve my problem of not knowing what to do with my hair. Mine was hair, but for you, it could be anything that you feel like you can help people with. Is it fitness? You know, you're really into cardio or something like this. Is it going to be diet? Maybe you're keto, maybe you're vegan. Maybe you're a really good cook and you wanna help beginners like me <laughs> figure out how to cook. Maybe you do a specific type of yoga, you know, a cool way or something like that and you feel like you could really help people with that. You can just see what are you interested in? What is a problem that you had that you feel like, you know what? I think I can help people. You don't have to be an expert, okay? You don't have to be the top in the field. You just have to be a little better than like your ideal customer or your viewer. From this, you would make your channel and the content and the videos you make focused on helping that specific person who was like you when you got started. All your videos are going to be giving them massive value, just something helping them and enriching their lives where they go away from the video saying, oh, Oh man, I really like that. I learned something. I'm gonna implement that. I'm gonna try that recipe. I'm gonna try that exercise. I'm gonna try that communication technique. I'm gonna try that journaling technique that you taught me. Channels that are helping people solve problems are the ones that are making money because trust me, there's people who they have 100,000 followers, 200,000 followers, and a lot of times they're not making as much money as you think that they're making. I bet you're like, okay, energy, how do I make this money, okay? What am I supposed to do after I'm giving this valuable, helpful content? I will tell you that after a quick sponsor break. Who is this video sponsored by? Myself. Why? Because I have a course called Hustle in a Hurry that teaches you how to make your first $500 online without any experience, without any fancy degrees or anything like that by taking advantage of freelancing. In that course, I'm actually super active. There's homework assignments for you to complete and there's other students that you can interact with and I'm actually giving you feedback so that you can make your first $500 online this month if 
you do all of the activities and everything step by step that I laid out for you. So if you guys would like to get that course, the link is in the description. So how are we making that money after delivering this valuable content? Maybe we're someone who actually cleared our skin by eating a plant-based diet or going no sugar or something like this. Well, you remember the quote I said, help a million people make a million dollars? That's exactly what you're going to do. You're gonna offer people help in some kind of way. Now, what kind of help can you offer them? Well, this could be something like digital products. What do I mean by that? Ebooks, courses, mini courses, digital downloads, something like this. Or it could be actual services like consultations. I love consulting because I love talking to people and helping them, but people will pay if you actually know what you're doing and in your content, your free content, they're getting so much value. Remember I said, make it based on value. If they're getting that in your free content, they're gonna say, oh, I really need to get that paid content, that paid one-on-one -on -one help, that paid digital product or something like this. So if you are someone, you know, I cleared my skin using plant-based products, maybe you want to have a PDF download of the recipes that you used day to day. Maybe you want to make a little mini course showing people how you're cooking the recipes, the low sugar recipes, or hey, whatever it is. Maybe you want to have a consultation where they talk with you on the phone and you can create a little plan for them. Of course, don't be giving any medical advice or anything like that, but just a consultation when you're help where you're helping them and talking them through what you did one-on-one -on -one and how they could incorporate that change in their life. Any of this, you can start with zero subscribers, okay? You can go ahead and go on Canva, create the digital download, or you can go on somewhere like Calendly or Acuity Scheduling, create a link, open your calendar, and you can just put that link in the description box of every video. And maybe in your videos, you wanna say, hey guys, if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one help, Go ahead, look at the link in the description for the consultation. All of this you can start at zero subscribers. Because they're digital, they don't really require any product or anything that you're shipping out, so you can start it with zero. The reason I like this model is because relying on AdSense is not really a good way to run your business, your online business. Why? Because AdSense goes up and down. Maybe you have a video that has 1,000 views and you have a $20 digital download. All you need to get is five people to download your digital download for you to make $100. Five people out of 1,000 people is like 0.5% of people, okay? That's not a lot of people. You can either do products that are priced low at, for example, $10 or $20, or you can do things that are priced high. Like for example, for consulting with me, I usually charge $150 an hour. That's a little bit higher, but all I need to do is sell one consultation per day in order to make $100 a day. But what if you have a course that is priced at something like $100? Like, I think I have a course that is priced at $100. All you need to do is sell one course a day and that's totally passive. Or maybe you have a mini course, a shorter course that is only $50. All you need to do is sell two a day. And the good thing about YouTube is that once these videos are out there, they're always out there. You always have that material out there so people can literally buy any time that they want. For example, my hair growth ebook, which I wrote June 2020. It's January, wait no, it's February 2022 now, and I'm still getting sales from the ebook that I wrote in 2020, and I don't even do hair videos anymore, and it's still selling. That's the power of YouTube, and that's how you can make $100 a day. It's not very hard if you're actually helping people, okay, and you know how to make a decent video. It is not hard, it's very attainable. Now, where do people go wrong, okay? I think the biggest way that people go wrong is they go into it with the intent of selling rather than helping. So they kind of come off as like a little sleazy salesman, you know, and people can pick up on that vibe. You look like you're just trying to earn a quick buck rather than actually helping people. So if you choose something that you're actually interested in and passionate in and you go in like, I want to help you. This thing worked for me and I know it can work for you. You can totally binge my free content. But look, if you want like some concise thing to get answers quickly right there, you don't wanna spend hours binge watching some videos, piecing them together, get my digital download, get my mini course, get my PDF, get my full-blown course. Do you see how that's different than every video you're just giving them little breadcrumbs and hoping that they buy from you? No, 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 this is not good. The biggest mistake that I see people making is not being consistent, 
They're expecting it to happen right then or they're expecting to put in the minimum and get out the maximum results. No, 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 no. You have to be giving it your complete all, not holding back. And look at, I did this when I was working full time, okay? Because I was working full time at the time that I was um, starting my channel. So I don't want to hear the excuse, I'm working full time, no, 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 okay? You can make this work, why? Because I was able to replace my full time income working at Netflix by only working part time and doing my hair on YouTube, okay? And the reason that I worked so hard, I was releasing three videos a week is because I knew that it was possible to change something. This is the importance of being consistent. You need to know and like have the faith and belief that something can change for you and then put in the work constantly. Let me know down below, are you guys thinking of starting a YouTube channel? Are you guys thinking of starting some other side hustle? What do you want? You know, what are you doing? For me, I'm definitely going to keep on going head first into YouTube, but I'm also like starting some other things like some investments and stuff like that that I want to get into. But let me know, do you have a YouTube channel? Are you starting one, growing one? What's going on? And again, if you guys do want to make your first $500 online this month, no experience, no fancy degrees using freelancing, I created my course Hustle in a Hurry that teaches you step by step exactly how to do that in a very interactive community setting. The link for that will be down in the description. Other than that, subscribe to my finance channel, Rich Girl Energy. I'm going to be going over everything regarding money, earning money, financial freedom, stuff like that on that channel. That will be linked down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video and maybe I'll see you guys on your channel. Terrified,